Our today's topic is allergic conjunctivitis. Allergic conjunctivitis is an inflammation of the ocular surface in response to a transient allergen, e.g. pollen in seasonal allergic conjunctivitis, or a persistent allergen, e.g. house dust mite in perennial allergic conjunctivitis. Seasonal allergic conjunctivitis SAC, is a type 1 hypersensitivity response with conjunctival activated mast cells as a direct result of allergen cross-linking of surface IgE receptors resulting in degranulation and release of histamine, leukotrienes, proteases, prostaglandins, cytokines, and chemokines. All these substances induce vascular leakage, resulting in further cellular infiltration of eosinophils and neutrophils and edema but little or no T-cell infiltration is observed. In perennial allergic conjunctivitis PAC, the conjunctival tissue is infiltrated by eosinophils, neutrophils, and a small number of T-cells, probably recruited as a result of the release of chemokines that attract these cells to the site of inflammation during the persistent, allergen-driven inflammatory response. All clinical forms of allergic conjunctivitis present with symptoms like redness, watering, discharge, and discomfort or sometimes pain of the eyes and, most importantly, with ocular itching, which is unusual in non-allergic eye conditions. Visual disturbance is usually minimal except in the more severe disorders and patients may also complain of swelling of the lids. Many patients with allergic conjunctivitis will have a history of current or previous non-ocular allergic or atopic conditions ezysema, asthma, urticaria, rhinitis. Classic ocular signs of allergic inflammation are lid swelling, diffuse conjunctival redness, and mild swelling, which often combine to give a pink rather than red color, and a velvety thickening and redness of the tarsal conjunctiva with the presence of fine excrescences called papillae, which may vary from tiny pinprick size to giant papillae which are greater than 1 mm in diameter and give a cobblestone appearance under the lid. Macroscopic noticeable swelling of the conjunctiva, called chemosis, is sometimes seen. Other signs, such as dermatitis of the lid skin, inflammation of the lid margin, blepharitis, conjunctival scarring, and involvement of the cornea occur only in certain of the most severe disorders. When the limbus becomes inflamed might presents a pale pink coloration in an annular pattern or with characteristic white dots called trantus dots. Clinical presentation of disease subtypes are, seasonal and perennial allergic conjunctivitis. Atopic keratoconjunctivitis, AKC. Vernal keratoconjunctivitis VKC. Giant papillary conjunctivitis GPC. Treatment. Topical antihistamines, levocabastine, azelastine, and emidastine, these are commonly prescribed in combination with a sympathomimetic vasoconstrictor, e.g. antazoline nefazoline. Oral antihistamines. Topical mast cell inhibitors, chromalin sodium, chlorphenamine, nidocromyl sodium, lidoxamide tromethamine, olopatidine and catodafin. They offer a preventive action and are most effective if used before the onset of symptoms where possible e.g. at the beginning of the pollen season as their onset of action is relatively slow, 5 to 7 days, and stinging upon installation can occur particularly in the presence of active inflammation, patients should be warned that their eyes may initially feel worse. Surface-acting steroids, fluoromethylone, remexalone, cyclosporin, 